Hello everybody, this is our first lesson in math. Uh, we'll start by differentiation. Let's go. We will start by uh, differentiation or derivatives. Differentiation or derivatives. Uh, this subject uh, will speak about differentiation or derivatives in the, at the symbol y dash uh, f dash of x dy over dx or f dash of any number so uh, our symbols for differentiation or derivatives are y dash f dash of x dy over dx f dash of zero or f dash of any number uh, in other words we can express differentiation slope of tangent rate of change m small or 10 theta, 10 theta. Uh, when he asks about the differentiation, he asks about any symbol from the four symbols or any letters from these words. Uh, let's see, example. Uh, if y equals 5x power 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 1, and he said find y dash, uh, we can see y equals four terms the first term 5x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 1 we have four terms in the main function in the main curve y so we, we can get y dash uh, if every term from these terms we differentiate it uh, first term 5x to the power of 3 how to differentiate or how to make the first derivatives uh, the rule, our rule, we multiply the power times the coefficient. I mean, three times five equals fifteen, and decrease the power by one. So, the first term five x to the power of three. When we differentiate it, we say fifteen x to the power of two. If you understand, uh, we multiply the power three times the coefficient 5 gives 15 and we decrease the power by 1 x power 3 x to the power of 3 uh, becomes x to the power of 2 so this is the first term uh, the second term minus 2 x to the power of 2 the same rule we multiply the power 2 by the coefficient negative 2 2 by negative 2 gives us negative 4 x to the power of 1 why because we decrease the power by 1 power 2 becomes power 1 and we we don't write power 1 here okay third term 4x 4x uh, this x is to the power of 1 1 by 4 power times coefficient 1 by 4 gives us 4 x to the power of 0 x to the power of 0 uh, disappears because uh, it, it gets 1 multiplied 4 by 1 4 so, so uh, if we have 4x the differentiation will be 4 any constant or any number the differenti differentiation is 0 we, we don't write it negative 1 becomes 0 so if we have 4 terms in the main function in the curve the differentiation becomes three terms because the constant term the constant term becomes zero okay uh, this is an example uh, we have many rules uh, f of x function f of x equals gx plus plus hx so f dash of x equals g dash of x plus h dash of x this is the first rule second f of x equals gx times h of x two functions multiplied so the rule of multiplication of derivatives f dash of x equals g dash of x times hx not dash plus h dash of x times g of x okay uh, third rule uh, division f of x equals g of x over h of x so f dash of x equals g dash the numerator times hx without dash denominator 
minus h dash derivatives of denominator time gx over the denominator power 2 denominator power 2 h of x all to the power of 2 uh, fourth rule f of x equal g of h of x function inside a function f dash of x equals g dash of hx times h dash of x we'll see together other rules trigonometric functions uh, sine cosine tan sec cosec cotan we, we must revise uh, sine if y equals sine x y dash equal cosine x if y equal cosine x y dash equal negative sine x if y equal tan x y dash equal sec square x if y equal sec x y dash equal sec x tan x if y equal cosec x y dash equal negative cosec x cotan x if y equal cotan x y dash equal negative cosec square x all derivatives must multiplied by derivative of inside let's see an example example one find dy over dx for these two problems find dy over dx first y equals sine 2x plus 1 inside brackets between two brackets minus cotan between brackets 5x power 2 again number one y equals sine between brackets 2x plus 1 minus cotan 5x power 2 okay we'll see the answer of question one solution y dash number one y dash uh, we saw before then sine 2x plus 1 and derivatives we get cosine 2x plus 1 uh, 2x plus 1 is a function inside sine uh, cosine sine becomes cosine 2x plus 1 the same function 2x plus 1 is 2x plus 1 the same function but sine becomes cosine because the derivative of sine equals cosine sine to x plus 1 cosine to x plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of the inside derivative of the, of the inside 2x when we differentiate 2x it becomes 2 only 2 2 written before the cosine okay uh, cotan 5x the second term cotan 5x power 2 we saw cotan in differentiation becomes negative cosec square cotan becomes negative cosec square but we have negative here so it will be positive plus cosec square cosec square the same inside 5x power 2 but don't forget we multiply by the derivative derivative of the inside the inside 5x power 2 how can we get the derivative 5x power 2 uh, we multiply the power by the coefficient 2 by 5 2 by 5 equals 10x power 1 or 10x so uh, cotan becomes cosec square negative cotan becomes cosec square and 5x power 2 the inside is the same and so times derivative the inside 10x we then uh, simplify the problem uh, 2 cosine to x plus 1 is written as it is 2 cosine to x plus 1 plus here 10x is written before the cosec square 10x is written first cosec square 5 export okay uh, this is the final answer we have another problem here uh, y number 2 y equals sine 3x power 2 plus pi plus sec 5x we have two trigonometric functions sine 3x power 2 plus pi plus sec 5x okay uh, y dash will start with the first function which is sine 3x power 2 plus pi and we see sine sine in derivatives in differentiation becomes cosine sine becomes cosine so sine 3x power 2 plus pi becomes cosine 3x power 2 plus pi multiplied by the derivative of the inside the inside 3x power 2 plus pi how to get uh, the derivatives multiply the power by the coefficient 2 by 3 equals 6x to the power of 1 plus pi this is constant and every constant 
vanishes. No pi, no, no constant. So uh, sine three x power two plus pi becomes cosine three x power two plus pi times derivative on side, which is six x. Okay, this is the first term. Plus the second term. Uh, if you remember, sec five x becomes sec ten. Sec becomes sec ten with the theme inside. Sec five x becomes sec five x. 10 5x and this is the derivative of sec anything sec 5x becomes sec 5x 10 5x all of this times by derivative of the inside derivative 5x becomes 5 if I multiplied so it is multiplied by 5 we simplify simplify the problem uh, cosine cosine 3x power 2 plus pi times 6x uh, 6x is written first before the cosine is 6x cosine 3x power 2 plus pi plus 6 5x 10 5x times 5 write the number before 6 10 so 5 6 5x 10 5x and this is the final answer let's see another example uh, you can uh, write these exercises and solve it yourself and uh, if you can uh, send us the answer on the channel we'll be very happy let's see another example example number two y equals sine 3x plus 1 times tan 2x if the two functions are written together beside uh, sine 3x plus 1 tan 2x that's mean sine 3x plus 1 times 10 to x find the y over the x let's see the answer solution y dash uh, we have here two functions multiplied sine 3x plus 1 multiplied by 10 to x we have a rule y dash equals derivative of first function multiplied by the second function without derivatives plus derivative of the second function multiplied by the first function without derivatives let's apply uh, so y dash equal sine 3x plus 1 derivative cosine 3x plus 1 by 3 y we make sine sine becomes cosine times derivative inside derivative the inside which are which is 3 3 cosine 3x plus 1 times 3 this is derivative of first times the second as it is 10 to x exactly as it is without derivatives we make derivative for the first not the second derivative sine 3x plus 1 cosine 3x plus 1 times 3 times 10 to x this is the first term plus derivative of second the second is 10 to x how to differentiate it 10 to x 10 becomes 6 square 10 to x 6 square 2x this is the derivatives or differentiation 10 to x 6 square 2x so we multiply by the inside the derivative of the inside which equals 2 6 square 2x times 2 all of these are the derivative of the second times the first the first sine 3x plus 1 without derivatives it becomes sine 3x plus 1 as it is without derivatives it becomes sine 3x plus 1 as it is we simplify the problem uh, we see here cosine 3x plus 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to x we write the number first 3 3 cosine 3x plus 1 10 to x plus here 6 square 2x times 2 times sine 3x plus 1 we start with the number first 2 6 square 2x sine 3x plus 1 and so we have finished the problem uh, and these are the exercises the exercises find the y over the x number 1 y equal to 10 5x power 2 minus 1 6 3x power 2 minus 7 number 2 
y equal 5x power 2 sec 2x minus 1 find dy over dx then now we have finished our lesson this is the first lesson in differentiation we'll see you the next uh, video with math or engineer Adam Roman.